Introduction to Latin Cases Latin is often seen as a religious language tied mainly to the hymns and prayers of the Catholic Church. In fact, most of you have probably heard Latin used in movies with demons or exorcisms. However, Latin is still very much alive. It is the root of all the Romance languages like Spanish, French, or Italian. It is a great foundation for understanding grammar and the structure of language in general. And there are so many great stories and other literary texts in Latin. So learning Latin is definitely worth it. Latin uses a very different grammatical system than English, which means you really have to change the way you think about forming sentences. Latin uses a system made up of what we call cases. That word might seem out of place to you when talking about grammar. You might be picturing a phone case, or if you were a little, little older, maybe a briefcase. This is because you are normal. Most native English speakers haven't heard about cases in a language, even though a lot of languages use them. But in order for you to understand the case system in Latin, first we need to talk about how sentence structure works in English, so you can understand the differences and purpose of the Latin cases. Have you ever wondered how we understand each other when we speak English? Have you ever taken a second to think about how meaning is expressed in English? In case you haven't, English sentence structure uses word order to express meaning. English has a very strict word order. Take this sentence, for instance, Kayla gave Courtney a cookie. How do you know that Kayla is the one giving the cookie and Courtney is the one receiving the cookie? Or better yet, how do you know that the cookie is the thing being given? Other than context, of course. In English, the subject of the sentence, or the person doing the verb, comes before the verb. And the objects of the sentence, the things or people being affected by the verb, come after the verb. The order of the two objects, the cookie and Courtney, are also in a specific order to indicate their roles in the sentence. While in English we understand what role each word has in the sentence because of word order, this method doesn't work in Latin. Latin has a very flexible word order. What if I take our same example sentence from before, but I change the word order around like this? A cookie Courtney gave Kayla. First of all, it just sounds weird. But second of all, it doesn't make any sense. However, in Latin, I can write the words like this, but still have it mean what it meant before changing the word order. This is because meaning in Latin isn't determined by word order. Instead, Latin uses cases. In Latin, there are five cases. Nominative, genitive, dative, accusative, ablative. You don't need to worry about their names yet. The concept is most important. A case is a fancy word that means a role or function that is assigned to a word. When a word is in a certain case, it means that the word has a specific function. For instance, if a word is in the nominative case, it is the subject of the sentence. In order to know which case a word is in in a sentence, each noun has a specific ending to specify what case it is in. If a noun has the nominative ending, it is in the nominative case. In Latin, there are five cases, which means that there are five main functions that a noun can have in a Latin sentence. Because it is the ending of the noun that tells you what function it has, whether it is a subject or an object, for example, the word can be wherever in the sentence and you still know what function it has. Thus, you can understand what is happening in the sentence regardless of word order. You might be thinking this is confusing and that it just makes Latin really hard to understand compared to English. But, you have to remember that it is only hard and confusing because your brain has been programmed to think in the way that English structures sentences. If Latin was your native language, you would think differently. Just take it slow and keep your hopes up. It will come eventually. I'm just dying